Urban biology. Urban biology. Urban biology. Ever since the first life arose roughly 3.5 billion years ago, Organisms have been adapting to their environment through a process known as evolution by means of natural selection. This process has created a multitude of species and has allowed life to spread to all the different environments that can be found on planet Earth. Recently, however, man has started creating a new type of environment, the city. This environment provides a series of specific challenges to the organisms inhabiting it. A great example of the unique environmental conditions that can be found within cities is the so-called urban heat island effect. This process causes the temperature in the city to be about 2 degrees higher than in the surrounding countryside. Although the urban environment is relatively young with regards to evolutionary timescales, one would expect the organisms inhabiting it to adapt and evolve. The first exciting examples of evolution within the urban environment are just now starting to emerge. You are probably familiar with this little guy, and if not, you've at least been stung by him. This is Culex pipens, or in other words, the common house mosquito. The tunnels of the London Underground, however, are not inhabited by Culex pipens. Instead, they are populated with a uniquely urban species of mosquito. This urban species is especially adapted to life within the tunnels of the London Underground. Now, meet this plant, a plant that somewhat resembles a dandelion. Its scientific name is Crepis sancta. This species of plant has especially adapted its seed dispersal to be able to thrive within the small, square patches of soil that can be found at the bases of trees, which are often planted along city streets. Are you interested in urban evolution? Do you want to know more about the kind of evolution that is going on right outside your door? Why don't you hop on over to our website, www.urban-biology.com?